CVZ, thinking about defending huge amounts of Ling Bane that are being set up outside your base, and what to do with your Ling Bane to play out the situation favorably. Dusk Towers is a big map, but just because it's a big between pool. Link speed first under gas, same for both players, and then it'll be Bane Nest, next 50 gas. I make a bit of a mistake here. I go for a third. It gets attacked by four links, and I don't cancel it in time. But still able to take the victory. Something to really think about in ZVZ is how the players are spending their inject cycles. So at this stage, 24 and 26 drones, we opened pretty much identically. We have about five day workers that are natural, but still able to take the victory. Something to really think about in ZVZ is how the players are spending their inject cycles. So at this stage, 24 and 26 drones, we opened pretty much identically. We have about five day workers that are natural. The main is mostly saturated in both cases, but this opponent decides to spend their inject cycle into Ling. I think I decide to spend mine into drone. Let's look at the production. Yeah. So I'm droning up a little bit more. I got supply blocked here, which is unfortunate. But when I see lots of links coming across, I morph banes. One really important thing, if you plan to defend and drone your base, you want to make sure you have about four links at home to morph into safety banes. So I'm morphing the banes, and then at this moment, with this overlord outside my third, I know that the opponent is investing in a very large ling bane attack. In this scenario, if I can survive, I'm pretty much always going to be ahead. I'm ahead in queens, I'm even on bases and injects, and then in units, I'm slightly ahead on drones. So, if you think about banes, banes do poorly against other banes and against queens. Lings do really poorly against banes, especially when the opponent is attacking into you. So my plan here is to move my queens down, just because they trade well with banes in general. I'm trying to move my banes into their setup to trade. And then here, I sent all of my live zerglings on a path around the opponent's army and into their natural. So this will keep them from running into the banes. And if you can kill a queen, it's almost a win condition because they can no longer inject this base, the base is undefended, and their army is usually going to be kind of streaming toward your side of the map. One mechanical thing I did with that maneuver was I unbound the lings from my main army as soon as I made new lings. So I'll go to my vision. Lings are fighting the veins. Those are just a move. I'm not actually focus firing. And it's kind of scary when a bunch of lings get into your base. The veins are chasing that force. And then here you can see I have nine larvae that are hotkeys my main army. These units are not keybound at all. They're just on a solo strike mission to go into the opponent's natural and attack them. That was a spore they canceled. So the lings are going in, but I'm not directing any attention toward this. I'm just letting them do work. So that's a pretty crucial relationship. If they're super focused on getting good trades here, they're less likely to notice some units that come in on the minimap and deal damage in their base. So the lings come in, we kill the queen, I'm able to clean this up, and I save pretty much all of my drones and all my queens. And then when this base is wiped, I've effectively achieved a victory condition, and they tap out. Lingbane Wars, backstabbing them with the lings. What happens if, as you run by, they had some safety banes in their base too? That would be the ideal situation for the attacking player in that case, would be to have some safety banes. You could say, in general, in StarCraft, players who are going for very aggressive strategies generally are not going to be quite as good at defending. And a lot of players have a plan to defend by attacking, which means by attacking the opponent, usually you direct their attention to their side of the map, and you can be kind of safe at home just pumping out units. One thing that's kind of important when you're moving your lings across the map is to make sure that they're in a line. If your lings are in a line, the Bane will often detonate on the first few, and I would still get maybe like four lings into the base if it was a single Bane. 
Ling Bane scenarios are very mechanically intensive, so just because you're ahead doesn't mean you're going to win. A couple Bane connections can really change the game. Safety Banes is also a way that you can win some Ling Bane Muta Wars, which is a little bit counterintuitive. Most players think that if it's Muta versus Muta, you want to spend all of your gas into Muta. But if you spend all of your gas into Muta, and the opponent spends gas into Muta but makes constant Ling production with their minerals once they reach 3 base saturation, they can flood your bases with Lings, and you can lose all your drones while your Mutas are out of position if you don't have Safety Banes. So two safety banes at your outer bases is usually pretty good.